Tim Waltz reportedly had a secret affair with the daughter of a Chinese Communist Party official in China. Tim Waltz. Tim Waltz. This is according to the Daily Mail. They report Tim Walls had a secret fling with the daughter of a high-ranking communist official during his 1989 teaching stint in China. Jenna Wang, who is now 59 years old, claims that the VP hopeful showered her with gifts and seduced her at his pokey staff accommodation at number one high school in Foshan, Guangdong province. The lovers could not risk holding hands or showing affection in public. Convenient for Tim Walls, is it not? Because Wang's dad had a high ranking, was a high ranking figure in the Chinese Communist Party who would disown her for fraternizing, fraternizing with a Westerner. But the Daily Mail reports their romance blossomed behind closed doors as they sipped tea, made love, and listened to George Michael hits, leading the then 24 year old Wang to dream about marriage and a new life in the United States. No proposal was forthcoming from the future Minnesota governor, however, and the shame of being treated, quote, like a prostitute eventually left Wang feeling angry and suicidal. She claims there's a photo that the Daily Mail has of the two of them in the same picture. Um, This is what she told DailyMail.com. Tim was very passionate and very romantic. I can still remember dancing with him to our favorite song, Careless Whisper. The fact we couldn't touch or kiss in public just made it all the more exciting and intense when we were finally alone. We were deeply in love, and I wanted to marry him and start a family. When it didn't happen, I felt very unhappy and sad. Tim's behavior was very selfish, she said. The Daily Mail says Walls' time in China is already a source of controversy after he misleadingly claimed in interviews and congressional transcripts that he was in Hong Kong when the Tiananmen Square protests erupted from April to June of 1989. It later transpired that he didn't join the staff of nonprofit World Teach in China until August of 1989, prompting Walsh, age 60, to profess during a recent VP debate that he was a knucklehead when recalling dates. So Tim Walsh stopped the daughter of a Chinese communist official. That's enough to be disqualifying. What is it with Democrats? First, we have Eric Swalwell banging a Chinese spy, and now Tim Walls. Why is it always the nastiest guys that do the nastiest things? And by the way, what the Chinese communists actually thought of Tim Walls, this is what the New York Post reported. The Chinese Communist Party saw Minnesota Governor Tim Walls as a prime target for its influence operations in the U.S. This, according to internal Department of Homeland Security Communications, shared the same day that Vice President Kamala Harris picked him as her running mates. A DHS official wrote on August 6th on an internal nation state threat national functional team chat, which a whistleblower recently disclosed to Congressional Committee, and I quote, you all have no idea how this feeds into what PRC, the People's Republic of China, has been doing here with him and local government. It's seriously a line of the intel. Target someone who is perceived that they can get to D.C. So they thought that he was a patsy. They thought that they could use Tim Wall's as part of their influence operations in Washington, D.C. And you know what? Somehow I suspect that they were successful. Somehow I suspect that Tim Walls would simply say yes if it meant sacrificing. What principles does he have for money and influence and political power? Absolutely disgusting. And yet you'll notice that the same press that falsely accuse you and I of being Nazis because we support Trump The same press that is running interference like crisis PR for Joe Biden after he called all of us garbage won't ask Kamala Harris or Tim Walls a single question about this affair that Tim Walls engaged in with the daughter of a Chinese communist politician. 